Hi guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to do a birthday haul. Yesterday was my birthday and we decided to go to the big city, which is not really a big city to compare compared to like LA or New York, but it is a big city compared to where we live now, which is two hours away. First thing, as I walked into Target, and I've been there only a couple of times, and I noticed they have a, a $1 or $3 section. And I've always just walked past there, but this time I was really intrigued. And um, I saw a couple of items that I really like. Actually, most of my haul in Target are from that section. And the first thing I saw, and I was just like, yes, this is what I need, is this crayon or Crayola crayon tin. And I love making home for things that we have. I love tins, I love storage. And so this was just so perfect to put all of my kids' crayons in here, whether they are half or a third of the crayon or broken crayons, it doesn't matter. At least they're in a home, at least they're in a place and not in like a box that is torn apart. And this one was $3 and it is a five by five tin. So if any of you guys are interested and have a bunch of crayons like I do and need a place to put them, you can get these at Target. And another one that caught my eye is another storage piece and these were a dollar look <laughs> i am a sucker for cute pretty things whether they are usable or just for display and i but affordable affordable and i found these really cute tins with print on them i love bright aqua prints and I mean, you see them everywhere, so of course the whole world is into these prints too. This one is an aqua with gold tin. This one is just silver and white stripes, kind of like line dashed stripes. And this one almost is like a weird version of a chevron. It's black and white. I plan on putting um, maybe some brushes or these crayons that, or crayons, I mean, wooden color pencils that I use and I plan on you know, displaying them in here. And you know what? The possibilities are endless. They will look cute whenever or wherever they go in my house. A couple more items that I found are these tissue paper, and I love these because they're brown, so they kind of look like, you know, the whole retro or vintage or like chic, you know. These were, I think, a dollar something. So I'm gonna be using these for gifts. The last item for me is another storage. Again, I love love storage and this one is an aqua uh, plastic like a bin or plastic oh right here one dollar storage crate and they had a black and a white one but of course i went with the aqua which is my favorite color with brown i already know where i'm going to put this i'm going to put this in our bathroom because with my feminine products and Luis's masculine products it just tends to overflow and he denies that he thinks he only has this like two items and that's all he uses well no i beg to differ so just to keep the clutter out i'm definitely going to use this to put my stuff in there the last item for me i picked up and just bought it because i thought it was so cute and i know you can't find this at dollar tree it's this 30 sheets each page flags and they look at the print i hope you can see see the print on that the print on here is so pretty pink and gold polka dots gold and white stripes aqua and gold gold and black and gold you know those really popular colors right now and so i picked up um one of these i only picked up one because i just got to figure out where i'm going to use it um put them in my books in my drawing books in the books that i'm reading again the list is endless i can use them anywhere i guess for the kids I picked up a box of Bunny Fruit Snacks Variety Pack and they love, absolutely love this. Next two items are Hello Panda. These remind me of home because we have Asian stores at home and my mom used to buy these for us when we were little and now I'm buying them for my kids. And they are chocolate cream filled cookies that have little panda prints on them, if you can see. And the last item for this haul is Mama Chia and this one is the Blackberry Bliss my kids favorite so the next place I went to was Hobby Lobby and I cannot explain to you how just heavenly that place is it's like for me I could just live there most of them are actually sticker alphabets I got them in a variety and I love doing wood quote signs and I used to do I used to hand hand write them myself but it's taking up a lot of printer paper 
And so I'm going to try and use stickers this time and see if it won't take as long and if I don't waste a lot of paper and ink on my printer. So this one is in gold, but the you know the color really doesn't matter. I'm going to paint over it anyways. And these ones are sans serif fonts, you know, the fonts with the feet are sans serif fonts. And I got serif fonts and these were all are all in capital letters. And these ones I can paint over and I don't have to dispose them at all. I can just, you know, these are for backup because I know it will happen. And this one is in a serif font. It kind of looks like a stamp, stamped letters. These items, these stickers were 40% off. So if they, so um, some of them were $4.99 and some of them were $1.99 and 40% off of that. The one that I found is reusable self-stick letters. I like that they are reusable stick letters and these are in a serif font. And that's what it looks like. Another one that I wanted to try is my friend has this and it just helped so much when we were doing crafts at our house and these are glue dots adhesive and they're kind of expensive. I think this one was also 40% off so these ones are glue dot minis and they show you at the top if any of you guys are buying and need like a specific size they have the size right here for any of you guys are wondering. These are really cool because they come off in like these type of stickers, you know, the stickers that you see in like Willy Wonka, the one with the candy on it. They come in these like strips and all you have to do is take the little glue dots and put them on the, the craft that you want to do and you don't have to worry about like like liquid glue or glue stick. It's just really quick stick that you need for these crafts, especially if that craft that you're doing and you have to do like a million of them and so imagine how quickly this will go by using and I picked up two more colors for my acrylic craft paints I have an awesome variety right now but the thing about Hobby Lobby is they don't have they have a huge variety of um, craft paint and this one is in a it's called crocus purple and I got one in like this really deep brown vintage um, gold um, oh it's cinnamon so what a really pretty name for a deep brown so if you guys can see that so the last item on my list is this huge canvas plastic collection um, canvas it is 24 by 30 in size and I'm going to use this this baby right here for my upcoming um, work projects so I'm excited to do that the last minute place I went to and it's already open was in Joann's and what I needed was a decorative corner decorative corner lever punch so um, if I have invitations that I design and I need to print out I I'll, I can give the client an option of either you can have the corners rounded or just not rounded and so I can finally use it and it really does make some invitations look really extravagant, extravagant and cool. So this one will definitely come in handy. This size is in medium. The last place we went to was Petco for our two dogs, Coco Pops and Elroy. Initially, we were just there to get name tags, especially for Coco because he doesn't have one. And but we ended up getting a couple more items too. So here's one we got for Coco. It says Coco Pops. Another one we got for Elroy. Elroy already has a tag, but it's um first time we got like a cheap one so it's rubbing off and so we got a better one this time and it says Elroy on it and the big purchase that just saved us all are tag silencers and Luis just hates the sound of the metals clashing he just just gets so irritated and uh, most of the time our dogs don't even wear uh, collars which which they need to just in case they you know run away or something and so we found these they're tag silencers and what you do is you put them over the edges of the tags and so when you know when the dogs shake it doesn't go clink 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 definitely a lifesaver for when the kids are sleeping and the kid and the dogs are like just being loud and the next items are dog toys and we were there forever looking for dog toys because we go to Walmart for our dog toys and they just rip them up so easily and so we were there for a while looking for one. The big purchase and let me just say the dog toys and everything in that place is very expensive so this is going to be like a one time one time thing. We got my uh, we got a dog toy that is a durable dog toy. It has multiple layers no hard edges, has three layers of soft material, no stuff, 
extremely durable pet toys with white stuffing in the center. The materials that are in here are the same materials you use in a luggage, so it's very dur durable. And, and no matter how much they play with this, it won't rip up, which is great because I'm tired of picking up stuffing and I'm tired of them throwing up the like the thread that they eat from their dog toys. And so I know this will definitely withstand for hopefully for years. Another one is just a cute one. It's a Leaps and Bounds Playtime Pal and why not because we live in corn country you know we're corn huskers here and so we got one that's in the shape of a little corn. Another one is a Kong Ocean's Puffs. It's a crackle toy. So it has this like round um, round little plastic in there that ha that sounds just like a water bottle which dogs completely love and then the outside is just the shape of a fish and if you shake it it has like little beads or rattles in there and then last item are dog treats petco does have a variety of cool dog treats over there and they they look so delicious like you just want to eat it but you're like oh no there's probably liver in there these ones look like little um, chocolate chip cookies and so we are definitely going to give these to them um, when they come in from being outside or when they're when you know when they obey us and so these are good dog treats especially for training so that concludes my birthday haul you guys um, i really didn't want like extravagant gifts from anybody i just want to go spend time with my family um do something different for once even me being a mommy on a budget i can still have fun and not spend so much just you know be with my family have a good time thank you guys for watching thank you for all the birthday wishes and don't forget to like subscribe and comment below and i'll see you guys next time bye